So should you take a practice swing before a golf shot? I don't think so. I think it actually could be hurting your game. Why? Because you're not out there to practice, you're out there to play. Let's go talk about why your practice swing could be hurting your golf scores. Practice swings. I want to talk about why I don't take practice swings when I execute a golf shot. But here's the thing about it is that I'm not opposed to practice swings. Matter of fact, there's a purpose for practice swings, but you're not really practicing when you make them. Now I'm talking full shots here and when I when I when I'm in my short game and my putting, I have a totally different routine when it comes to execution of a golf shot. However, that's what we're going to talk about today is execution of a shot because practice swings are something you do to practice. When you're on that golf course, you're out there, you're performing and you're playing, right? And you're in the process of executing good shots. You're not out there necessarily to practice. So we have to talk about the purpose of a practice swing and then why I don't do it when I actually execute a shot. Now here's the thing about it. There's some science behind this. Obviously, it's, it's how the brain works. But let me just go through my pre-shot execution routine to show you what goes on when I execute a shot when I play golf. Now, one of the things that I think you have to understand about playing the game of golf is if you're not consistent in your routines, if you're not consistently executing a shot in the same way, how can you certainly expect, how can you expect to be consistent in your shot making ability, right? So you have to get good at pre-shot routine and you have to get good at execution, which I think are two different things that are, that are in one routine. When you get good at that, you simply co-play golf and you execute. So I'm very much into the process of execution. Let me just show you what I do and you can see why I do what I do. So one of the things that you'll see me obviously do is I, I stand a certain distance back from the golf ball and I assess my shot, pick my club, get my yardage. I do all those things that I need to figure out what the heck do I want, right? So what do I want to do? I want to hit a three wood, 240 yards at that flag down there. So I'll pick, I'll pick a spot out in front of the golf ball. So I'm giving myself kind of a, a reference to a spot, right? Now, once I got my club selected, some people say, well, I visualize the shot. You know, I, I'm seeing what I want. I, I pay more attention to the line than I do anything because once I pick my spot and my target line, I, I, I don't really, you know, I can't, I can visualize a shot going straight or whatever. And sometimes the, the whole location isn't your target. Maybe it's left side of the green or left half of the fairway or whatnot. So, so I, I'm going to basically pick my spot out. That's really what my goal here is and get the right club. Okay. Now, when I go into this, so this is what I call red zone. You can see this in my book. This is the red zone. This is where I, I make some, this is decision zone here. Once I make the decision, I'm going to go into what I call green zone. Green zone is this area out here where that's where I actually execute a shot. So green zone is when I pull the trigger. Now here's what I want you to see me do inside green zone is I'm going to walk in and I'm going to set up to my target line, my club to the line. I'm going to get my ball position off my lead foot. I'm going to set ball position, waggle for comfort, set my trail foot, take one look through my target line and I'm going to execute. All right, so what you're seeing me do here is make a decision and then get into green zone and then execute, right? Now, each one of these areas has a process. So you saw there were some things I did here and there's some things I did here. But the most important thing is that I was very consistent when I was going from red zone to green zone. I'm gonna give you a little piece of advice here that you'll like that will really be helpful in this process. So when I leave red zone, right? So this, I got it, right? I'm gonna give myself a very positive, I got it physiology. What does that mean? All right, I got it, right? Got that shot. I'm gonna walk out of red zone with a very positive physiology. Now that's the opposite of saying, well, I don't have this, hold my beer, and then walking out of red zone, right? So all right, I got this, right? So I want you to leave red zone with a very positive physiology, meaning I got this, okay? And then you walk into green zone, you set to your target. I'm not saying rush this. Set to your target, set your ball position, stance width, get really comfortable, which is important. Waggle, get comfortable, and then execute. Now, see that whole process there? It's beautiful because 
all right, you're here, you got the club, all right, I got this, right? You leave with a positive physiology, you step in here, right to your target, get really nice and comfortable, boom, execute. What's not happening here is you don't see me guessing at anything. You don't see me walking out of red zone going, okay, practice swing, okay, well, I think I might have it, right? There is nothing in here, doubt has been removed. And that's the purpose, when you're playing golf and you're executing shots, you want to remove all doubt, you want to take out the club you want, pick your line, get in here, commit, got it, and execute. Quit thinking too much, no practice swings between red zone and green zone. Now, however, if you want to practice swing, do it outside of red zone, then you can come in, make your warm up, loosen up, whatever you need to do, okay, get it out of the way, then hit your red zone, got it, go into your green zone, establish your position, get set, bang, hit it, right? That's how you're gonna play your best golf. Red zone, green zone, no practice swings.